Welcome swimmers and swammers to the 2024 Swim Swam Olympic Games Fantasy Draft. I'm excited. You're excited. I know a lot of fans have been waiting for this one for a year since our last fantasy draft for the 2023 World Championships. I'm Coleman Hodges. We are joined by Swim Swams, Yen Yen Li, Barry Revson, Loretta Race, and David Klossy. And this is how it's going to go down. This episode of the Swim Swam podcast is sponsored by Commit Swimming, Swim Swam's exclusive team management software partner. Since 2015, Commit has been providing coaches with swimming's leading workout management software. And now, Commit has team management software too. Commit wants to help you make the switch from Team Unify to a simpler, more powerful solution. Their onboarding and customer service team will walk you through every step of the way. Check them out at commitswimming.com to book your demo today. That's C-O-M-M-I-T swimming.com. We are each drafting a team of eight swimmers. The categories are, you have to pick one swimmer from North America, one swimmer from South America, Central America, or Africa, one swimmer from Europe, one from Asia, one from Oceania, and then you get three wild cards. <coughs> the a quick rundown of the scoring system that we will be playing the rules by, individual gold medal at the Olympics is six points, individual silver is five points, bronze is four points, relay gold, four points, relay silver, three points, relay bronze, two points, any relay medal, but you only swim on prelims is one point. Make an, make an individual final, didn't medal, one point. World record bonus, three points. And a DQ is negative two points. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much the rundown. I'm really excited to get started. Thanks, everyone, for being here. And without further ado, our drafting order will be Yin Yin, David, Loretta, Coleman, Barry, and then we're going to go snake style. So then we'll go in reverse and we'll do that for eight rounds. So Yin Yin, last year's 2023 draft champion, is going to pick first. Yin Yin. Well, actually, I've been the champion in the last two drafts that we've done. I won the NCAA yeah. draft as well. So oh my God. That. I don't. Let's see if I keep my win streak alive. Uh, <laughs> but my out. first pick, I'm going to go with. Molly O'Callahan, who is last year's top scorer. <sighs> well, that's a solid pick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone would follow you for it's that. In Austria. You put that in North America. Oh gosh. <laughs> we'll we'll take thank, her though. If she you. wants to if she wants to move to the US. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe she'll be Canadian. Did I hear a cowbell in there? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, number two pick, David. All right. Well, I had, you know, I knew I was going second, so I had two swimmers, and Molly O'Callaghan was one of them. So I'll go with the uh, second one on my list uh, for Summer Macintosh. Just as many events as possible, as many medal opportunities Oof. as possible. Yeah. It's a good one. I don't. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're sticking till we know what works. Uh, Loretta, pick number three. Yes. So those two were also on my list. Thanks very much. <laughs> but I think because of the relay value, I'm going to go with Kaylee McEwen. Kaylee McEwen for Loretta. Solid. Yeah, it's a good, although Reagan Smith could upset. We don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, fourth is me. And for the fourth pick, uh, she had too good of a trials to deny her. I think I have to go with Ariane Titmus. Um, yeah. Who could... All the Australians getting taken off the board. I feel like that's saying something about the state of their swim program. <laughs> well, no Australians can get mad at us. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then pick uh, picks number five and six go to Barry. So Barry, you got a double. All right. Well, first, first I'll take Reagan Smith as the probable, you know, who knows? She could break the world record in the 100, 200 back twice. That would be great for points. Ooh. So 
Ooh. So we'll have to we'll have to shoot for that. Okay. Um, okay. And and I suppose with the second pick on that note, I'll take I'll take Marshawn as well. Um, mm. Maybe not a lot of relay potential, but does yeah. does have a lot of upside and on the scoring in general. World record, I think, is possible definitely. So maybe two. Who knows what that two hundred mm-hmm. ammo look like? Two hundred breast? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, oh, that was a good pick. Um, well, my second pick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, right, now it now it goes reverse. Oh, okay, right. You can't. Okay, that might help with my indecision. <laughs> you can't just have them all, Yin Yin. You got to <laughs> earn your wins here. Um, you know what? She was a, she was a ooh. <laughs> okay, with my second pick. I'm going Kate Douglas. There's a lot yeah. of relay value. That was going to be my pick since I thought it I was. I bet my it pick. was. <laughs> I was. It was either her or someone else who I'm not saying because. Yeah, I was going to go with the 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 strong and sturdy Ledecky. She did great for my my team last year, but Kate Douglas has also two gold medal potential individually, plus a lot of relay value. So. Um, go Kate, go who's all right, Loretta. <laughs> I know, gosh, it's already like now dwindling. I mean, so, <laughs> so oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to have to do for, cause she was also one of the top scorers. So she's going to have to be my wild card, Shayna Jack. That was the other <laughs> one I wanted. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> that's yeah, that's a great pick. All right, David. Shana Jack was who I was just about sitting <laughs> on. And I was like hoping that get through. Uh, but Coleman, you already mentioned her as a rock solid safe option for some goals. I'm gonna go with Katie Ledecky. Yeah. yeah. All right. So David and Loretta both already using their first wild cards, but it's probably very worth. <clears throat> Um, all right. Yeah. Katie Ledecky, it's like, she's a, she's a home run for two gold medals. Unless, unless Unless. Coleman's cattle ranch strikes and Ariana Titmus upsets her in the 800 free. Just saying it could happen. Probably not though. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to go with two swimmers that I think have some good individual medal and relay medal shots. I'm going to go with Caleb Dressel and Ryan Murphy. Whoa. All right. Caleb Dressel. Unexpected, Yin Yin. Why not? And Ryan Murphy. Caleb Caleb Dressel could win the 100 fly, probably a contender in the 53 will will be on a bunch of relays. You're right. You're right. Um, I keep I keep forgetting that it's 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 the outlook's a lot different than at World Champs, points wise. There's no fifties. Throws yeah. things off. Right. Good picks. All right, David. I am gonna go with uh, one of the top performers from last year and a uh, big threat in two events. World record bonus threat. Chin Haiyang. Dang it! Yeah. <laughs> You know, I was deciding between him and Murphy. Our first Asian yeah. swimmer bites the dust. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. I hope he doesn't <laughs> win. <laughs> <Not on my>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Loretta. No, but on that note, because there's so many more Europeans to choose from mm-hmm. than Asian, so I think I'm gonna go ahead with my Asian pick then too. Okay, I'm gonna go with Pam Zanley. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> yeah, you took my two picks. Um, he's those are those are great ones. I'm <sighs> there's there's not a ton of other. Okay, I guess I will go with uh, Zhang Yifei. And get my Asian pick out of the way as well. She'll be and great for relay points. I was I was I, hoping she'd I fall one more she, spot. <laughs> <laughs> I I hope Zhang Yufei holds form 
I'm I'm just afraid that she she might fall off a little from where she's been in the past, which is on top of the podiums. But we'll see. All right, Barry. All right, here's here's where it's really starting to get interesting as <laughs> as everyone's spots are are, are filling up. Um, yeah. So I think still just because of the added relay value bonus. Um, probably should lean into that a bit more. So I'm going to go Gretchen Walsh here. Mm. All right. Poss possibly a bit too early for her. We'll see. We'll see how this one pans out. Um, I mean, world record bonus potential on that one as well. Do we have the two per country rule? Like you can't have more than two per country. Um, I, it, I'm fine with not having that rule. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought it was just uh, one country, and then that's where their wild cards come in, yeah. Yeah, I think the wild yeah. cards are just wild card, right? Yeah, they would they wouldn't be very wild if they couldn't. Oh, I, think it, I think at one okay. had a two per country rule. Like I don't remember when, but, but um, it's a, yeah. Let's we don't need it because it's the Olympics, <laughs> and we make the rules. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I'll, I'll follow that up with uh, Kyle Chalmers as my. First Oceania representative. Let's go, King Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. I really want to pick this guy, and you know, I think I'll wait. So, just kidding. <laughs> um. I'm going to go ahead and get my Africa slash South America pick out. And I'm going to go with Tatiana Schoenmacher. Probably the only pick in that category that you can probably bet on a medal. I'm, hoping, the medal. I'm hoping for two. <laughs> but we'll see um, it's very very optimistic it is but you know what she looked great last year and she got married this year so maybe she's in a good place <laughs> i don't know all right loretta oh my gosh i know i'm gonna go europe but oh goodness okay oh I think I'm gonna oh see relays are tipping the scale for me. Okay, I'm gonna go with <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm gonna go with Duncan Scott. Mm -hmm. Duncan Scott. <clears throat> All right. That's a solid pick. Yeah, I mean, he'll be on a lot of relays, and he has two individual, two end of three individuals. He has two IM and two. I think two free is the other one. Yeah, because he dropped not the not Hunter free. Okay, gotcha. Who's the other? It's Matt Richards and who for Britain in the hundred free? Oh my gosh, you're putting me on the spot. Is it Burris? Right. Say yeah, what? Reda, you would know. I said, is it Burris? No, he didn't make the team. Um, but I don't, anyway, and while, while Loretta looks that up, David, I pick. <laughs> um, I'm going to get my Europe pick taken care of here too. And I'm going to go with, uh, Thomas Chacon, hoping he has a good hunter back and also some, uh, Ooh. hoping it's, it's how Italy's relays are, uh, going to be firing. Yeah. World record potential. And I, he could, I guess he could swim on all three of their, I guess there's four relays. Yeah. Relay potential there for sure. Okay. Um, plus world record bonus. All no, right. So you're right. So Duncan did finish second in the hundred free. He did. So then okay. I'm wondering if it's then the two hundred free that he was out of, or maybe it was Duncan's or uh, Dean was. No, no, no. You're right. So he does have three events: two IM and then the two frees. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So he'll have a busy schedule for sure. Yeah. So that's even an even better pick for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yin Yin. I'm going to get my Europe pick, and I'm going to go with Christoph Milok, who Ooh, at his best edgy. is the favorite for the 200 fly. Edgy. And, what do you mean edgy? Um, 
For <laughs> my Asia pick, I'm gonna go with. I will go with Li Bingji because it was either her or Sh Shabon Howie, and Shabon might be off the podium in the 200s. Shabon's events are hard. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird when there's two 152s, <laughs> 203. <laughs> like, it, it, it's like, well, there's one spot. So, <laughs> yeah. For like, you know, 20 different women. I, yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty nuts. All right, David. Um, so I want to get my Oceana pick taken care of here, but it's now I'm I'm kind of with a lot of my picks. I'm either at a safe one event specialist or a <laughs> risky multiple mm -hmm. event, and I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with a bit more risk. I'm gonna go with <laughs> Sam Short, hoping that his Ooh. uh perform because I know his performances at trials were a little bit less than a lot of people were expecting, but he was also battling some illness. And so hoping that was something that was more of putting you off during the meet, but doesn't impact him long-term. And he's back to that 2023 form and racks up some hardware. I honestly feel like, especially for a distance swimmer, like it, if you're off at trials, like it, it's, he's probably fine. Right. Especially because he did have some illness. Like, it seems like kind of a good sign, but eh. What do I know? All right. <laughs> Loretta, the pick is yours. Yes. I'm going to go with the Southern Hemisphere, so South America, et cetera. Mm. I'm going to go with Peter Kutin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Peter Kutzi of South Africa. Definitely a metal threat in a backstroke or two. <coughs> Oh, okay. Let's see. A lot of Europeans to choose from. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm I'm going with Matt Richards. Similarly to Loretta for relay potential, he's got two individuals defending. Well, he was a, the defending world champion in the tuner free until the Doha thing happened but uh yeah matt richards now is wild card time for coleman baby all right <laughs> barry all right this is this is kind of interesting so at, at this point i think we've exhausted all the pretty strong point selections and 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 now things get really interesting so i'm i'm gonna i've, I've been deciding for a while between between alexi and giuliano here like obviously, not neither of the two are going to be strong individual gold medal contenders. But you know, at this point, I don't I don't know how you bet against Giuliano in anything. And mm -hmm. Both both have strong strong relay potential, and that that men's hundred free record might find the hundred free relay record might might finally go down. Uh, so I'm going to pick Giuliano here as a as another wild card spot. God, <laughs> what's your first one? What? Very, who's your first one? Uh, Juli uh, just Juliana so far. Oh, um, I don't know. And <laughs> then I think the the tough thing is so again, like because Siobhan, Hong Kong doesn't have any relays, and yeah, she could easily finish fourth in both the hundred, two hundred free. Right, those are her only two events, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, hundred breast. She should probably do hundred breast too. Yeah, I mean, probably I mean, probably not I a strong podium contender there either. I also think that conflicts with the 200 free. Is it? Um, and so I th I think she said she's not going to do the 100 breast. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would be fun to see her do it. But I think that was like more of just a fun event for her. <laughs> but she had to kick the button. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm going to... Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is... This is uh, I'm just going to go Siobhan anyway. I'm going to... I think she can do it. I, she could, she could win both the hundred, 200 free. She could finish fourth in both. Uh, they'll both be very exciting events to watch either way. All right. Siobhan to the Chicago current. Um, so you have, okay. So you have two picks left where I guess this is round six. 
just to keep everyone <laughs> informed. Um, I was totally going to pick Chris Giuliano with Same. my sixth pick. <laughs> um, that's be because of just the upside he has. He has three individual events and he could be on every single US relay potentially. Yeah. Probably not the mixed medley, but like, you know, three individuals, strong contender for three relays. Ugh. He had some good upside. But in light of that, um, I'm going to take a minute here <laughs> and really assess things. Rethink. I'm just going to yell at you for dragging this for too long. And with the well, surprise pick, Coleman picks Michael Andrew. <laughs> Wild card. I'm not going to. It's like a uh, write in, like a write -in on a ballot. <laughs> I. I, I would pick Santo Condorella if he was in here. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, you need to use a wild card because you don't know what continent to count for. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. So Simone Manuel has one individual and could be on four relays that matter. Four relays? Four one three. individual. Four. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't be helping you. Never mind. Yeah, she's gonna be on four relays. Take her, Coleman. She could be. There's yeah. Potential. Um, I sh I think she'll certainly be on two relays. Carson Foster, pretty good chance at two individuals plus one relay. I'm gonna go with Carson Foster. I talked myself into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Loretta. Okay, I'm going to use another wild card because it would not be a draft if I didn't draft Wing Sum Woo. <laughs> so just to legitimize this, that's who I'm going with. But he does have 100, 200 potential, and I'm convinced Korea is getting the bronze in the 4 by 2 I know that's like... I you say I, that every year, but you know what? Know. Again, they win 7 one it's gonna at, happen at, it's in gonna Doha. Happen. I mean, it's it is it's a legitimate chance yes. for it, them to do it. I think. <laughs> um. Okay, David. All right. I'm gonna take someone who's got some like on the bubble of for medals in some events, favorite in one, and some pot relay potential. Just kind of grabbing as many high contending events as possible. I'm gonna go for Josh Liendo. Mm. I was thinking about him. Yeah, that's a good pick. <sighs> but his all of his events are so crowded. That's you know? why I've held yeah. off until now. It's kind of yeah. like the men's sprint events are kind of scary to try and uh, <laughs> to try and grab anyone from. There's very few locks. Yeah. Okay. All right, Yin Yin. I'm last gonna go picks. with someone that I. Not my last two. I have three more. Um, someone that I think uh, is oh, yeah, the king right, of consistency swimming in his home country, Maxime Gousset, as a wild mm. card. And then for my second wild card, I'm between two swimmers that I don't know. Actually, you know what? Jack Alexi. Oh, shucks. Um, just to be clear, that's your th Jack Alexi was your third wild card. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's the okay. Africa, South America, Central America pick. Um, good picks. I'm jealous of Jack Alexi. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't know how much Maxime's gonna do though. I hope he does great. He can medal in three events, and he's medaled at the last two worlds in very competitive events. He's been he very has, consistent. but only one medal for each event. Are you, you know? to clarify? Are you jealous of her having picked Jack Alexi, or are you just jealous of the person <laughs> Jack Alexi? Why not both? You know. <laughs> no, I'm face palming because I've realized that I've overlooked a certain swimmer that I have <laughs> overlooked. All right. I'm David? not gonna. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him anyway. So. <laughs> well. Him. Um, huh? uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go with, so I don't, I'm not seeing any super obvious relay picks left at this point outside of driving someone who's like just a pure relay swimmer. So I'm going to pivot the other way. I guess I'm going to stay on the trend of the somewhat scary uh, men's freestyles 
And I'm going to go with potential double event threat, David Popovich. That's who I was going to pick. Good pick. Over Maxime. Pretty and safe the, in the two free, but that one free is like he could win it or he could finish fourth. Yeah. And a world record threat. Maybe even a double world record threat. That'd be awesome. I would love to see that two free record go down. That'd be I fun. doubt it's going to happen, though. Yeah, I think we all would, but yeah, who knows? All Can right. We add an Olympic record bonus. <laughs> you just no. drop two 100th. <laughs> All right, Retta. Okay, I'm going to take up my last wild card and go with Lucas Martins of Germany. Hmm. Loretta has not drafted a single American. <laughs> On point for her. Okay. Um, <laughs> some things just don't change. Um, it's a good pick, though. Lucas Martins is looking good heading into this meet, but also in very competitive events. Yeah. Yeah. Like what's going to happen in the 400 free? <laughs> okay. Um, am I missing anyone in Australia? Oh. Mm. I want to draft Sarah Showstrom just because I know she she could win. She's going to win a gold medal. Yeah. And she might break a world record. But she has one of them. <laughs> she has one of Is um, Did she say she's going to swim the 100 free? Or sh has she said definitively one way or the other? Does anyone know? Oh, I'm no, she's, she's only done. doing the 50 and relays, and Sweden's not meddling in any way. Actually, no, Sweden, Sweden will definitely meddle in relays. <laughs> you know their medley relay i like to think it has a a, a far off chance <laughs> yeah. um i know in canada are finally battling for that third spot and sweden's like a wild card yeah okay i'm gonna i'm gonna pick soon <laughs> you know what Overlooked and could be in a lot of relays. Hunter Armstrong. He could he could win a gold medal. He could win three. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> All right, uh, Barry. <laughs> Last two picks. All right, along the lines of the multi multi individual event and relay potential, I'm going to take Tori Husk who is still hanging around on the board. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that leaves me with one pick, right? That has to be a Southern Southern Hemisphere pick. So I guess I'll, I'll take, uh, I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, but uh, Guy, Guy Karib. That's Ooh. probably very wrong. And I'm I'm sorry to his family. That's how I would pronounce it. So that, that's correct. That's correct. Is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. If you're ever around the Tennessee men's team, you can hear them when he <laughs> swims. You can hear them chanting. Gee! All right, I'll take it then. <laughs> okay. And back to me with my last pick what do we got here mm. i'm looking for any relay potential you know it's funny abby weitzel was one of the top scorers in last year's draft and she went undrafted. Doesn't have any individuals. Um, are any of these people going to meddle? Probably not. Um, I'm going to go with Simone Manuel. Hoping she gets an individual medal and a bunch of relays. <laughs> uh all right loretta it's time to pick an american <laughs> or <a> canadian <laughs> so i'm gonna go with bobby fink it's a good pick 
I was considering that one. He looks he looks pretty good to medal in two events. All right, David. I'm gonna go with I um you felt my last slot here, and I'm just hoping first that basically for him to make some finals and pick up a couple spare points. Uh, Jordan Crooks. No, that was gonna be my pick. <laughs> well, you can't have him. <laughs> okay. Just because I feel I like have... you know I'm kind of between two bubble swimmers to make finals like that, but I feel like when you're on the shorter end of things, it's more realistic yeah. to think that you know something crazy can happen and can sneak yeah. into uh, top eight. I feel like there's a really good Africa pick still. You see, this is annoying because if this was World Championships, I would pick Dylan Carter, but yes. he, there's no 50s, so I'm not going to pick him. Um, instead, I am going to go with Welcome back to my team, Guy Costa. I mean, Guillermo Costa could pro well, probably final in three events and like could definitely medal in any of them, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to repeat this, but who knows? <laughs> okay, I feel like my team, if this was done before Tokyo, my team would be so stacked. Obviously, Jack Alexi wasn't an Olympian then, but like my team, like I have Dressel, I have Malak, I have Murphy. Th those guys were all like phenomenal in Tokyo, yeah. maybe not as phenomenal in Paris. I have very nearly a great American woman's Mabi Relay. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty great. All right. Um, that's our swim swim draft. Let's go down the teams. Uh, Did we ever do team one. names or? Did we ever do that after we started recording, or is that just names? with our with amongst ourselves? I don't think. Yeah, I guess we didn't. Um, you can just like read them off. Let's read them off. So, Yin Yin is uh, Yin Yin's team is the District Tap lives on. She's got Caleb Dressel, Guillermo Costa, Christoph Milak, Lee Bingji, Molly O'Callaghan, Ryan Murphy, Maxime Grousset, and Jack Alexi. David is Fink's Lucky Duckies. You've got Summer McIntosh, Jordan Crooks, Thomas Chacon, Chin Haiyang, Sam Short, Katie Ledecky, Josh Leendo, and David Popovich. Uh, third was Loretta, who ChatGBT told her to name her team <laughs> Swim Shady. I, I feel like it's a classic. Uh, she's got Bobby Fink, Peter Coetzee, Duncan Scott, Pan Jenla, Kaylee McEwen, Shayna Jack, Huang Sun Wu, and Lucas Martins. Uh, fourth was me, Coleman's Cowbell Carpool. <laughs> <clears throat> I changed the name at the last minute. Uh, I've got Kate Douglas, Tatiana Schoenmacher, Matt Richards, Zhang Yufei, Ariane Titmus, Carson Foster, Hunter Armstrong, and Simone Manuel. And then last was Barry <clears throat> uh, at the Chicago Current. And he's got Reagan Smith, Guy Karib, Leon Marchand, Siobhan Howie, Kyle Chalmers, Gresham Walsh, Chris Giuliano, and Tori Husk. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for participating. Thanks to everyone who listened in. That was the 2024 Olympic Swim Swam Games Draft Fantasy. <laughs> That's our fantasy draft. Um, we will be giving periodic updates throughout the 2024 Olympic Games on scoring updates and who's kicking butt throughout this fantasy draft. And then obviously at the end, we will let you know who won the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> so thanks everyone. And, uh, the what? What? The what? <laughs> what? The kit and caboodle. Never heard that. Oh. Yep. Uh, whatever. You'll find, you'll find out when you win it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> find out when you win it. Yin Yin. You've been listening to the Swim Swam Podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swam Podcast on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.